Couldn't they have popped him in the suburbs? I saved you again, Davey. Again! So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve? He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. find those anywhere else. Bye, the producer purchase. does not drive himself to the premiere. Come on! Vinewood Boulevard, the Oriental Theater. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here. Hello. Which makes me a movie producer's kid. Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo, yeah! You see the Street's Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Get back down here. And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited. V to the I to the P. Jimmy. Read my neck rolls. Entitled. E. N. T. Uh, titled. Cause I am Jimmy! Oh, Pop Chill. I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Let's get a smoothie next week, okay? Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, hey, look. I, so I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. 
Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Hey, we're here. You know, I'm really proud of you, even though you did make a pretty shitty movie. Oh, well, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. And uh, have you ever uh, thought maybe I shouldn't shoot sex scenes in a green screen kind of environment? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, the thought has uh, crossed my mind, I suppose. Thanks, Antonio. Hey, Give me nice and tight. Never... Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side food tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards, Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's go She's over here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um, love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Can I just have a hug? Oh, that really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, uh, Laszlo! Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife, seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck! You're a dead man! Let's go, Jim. Come on! What's happening? Where's Mom? The girls are in danger. We gotta get to the house. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit-can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill Mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I gotta say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right, okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extreme, extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Come on, are we gonna go or what? Shit, what's that car? Jimmy, you keep yourself concealed. I'll go get the girls. The fuck are you doing? Ah, one of them's in with Tracy. We gotta get in there, Michael. He's in there with our girls. Mom, Fucking no. hell! Okay, okay. Just stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Clear the building! No one leaves! Ah. Fire in the hole! Oh, 
not yet. Stay put. Neither do I. Just keep calm. I told you to fuck off. You dick. Oh, uh, it's be all right. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, oh. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it off. <laughs> So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging? I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm gonna make a call. It's all gonna be okay. Stay put. They came to my house, Lester. My house! So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. Uh, I hate to say it, but Meriwether isn't short on excuses to come and kill you. Nor does Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. That's smart. Meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. Out there, man, but you gotta have. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess. All right, good luck with that therapy. So, like, the alternative to life, man, is death. And the interesting thing is that, well, life is cool. Michael, did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house. I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. 
I'm gonna take care of this. Bob. One more day and I'm a retired man. Porn and potato chips. Morning. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Why not? Cause some guys came to our house with automatic weapons, maybe? I'm dealing with that, honey. You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, Daddy. My boy, Mike. Good to see you. Damn, I need a drink. That's about right. I don't know if it's gay or not. I don't even know what What's mug this? it is. Struggling pain, struggling pain. Evil saints in my brain. All good. Yeah, tomorrow's my weekly horny day. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back, you two. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you, all right, excuse all right, all me, right, huh? Enough! enough. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is it. <laughs> Well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, out there. But then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage. And then we infiltrate the depository. 
Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we'll need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front, make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're going to be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, per, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, you've got to get some police stingers. Only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Oh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> and that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's gonna take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you. It helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the armored cars and bring the hostages to a safe house. Jobs for the bureau team. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, is gonna be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored cars and will be in charge of replacing the tires your stingers ripped out. Dude was a clown on a jewelry store job. A little bit less of a clown on the bureau raid. But he'll do good on this one, and we can still pay him dirt. Eddie Cho. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Now, the hacker, uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. I stuck with this guy at the jewelry store and then the bureau. He's getting better, and he ain't getting more expensive. We'll only get one shot at this thing. Is this the shot we want to take? Okay, we need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work, as long as we're ready to move now. Come on, I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. All right, let's go. Hello. Can I please have the number of the Dr. Crab fucking? 
It's just an online persona. It was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim. You're taking me up Phantom Canyon in this charcoal color land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me. Stall him, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? Okay, there's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blocked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um... That's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. Who is that animal? That's my dad, you a-hole. Oh, he's gonna fuck you up properly. Oh, really? How big's his herd, huh? The size of your herd? Don't matter when you're a total badass psycho, you dick. Daddy's boy. Read the tattoo, kid. What's it say? Entitled. Because I am. <sighs> Horrible little troll. You fucking dick. What the? You got my son in there. Give me back my boy. I wouldn't go that far. Look, 
He thought you were a fat little nobody. Now he thinks you're a fat little nobody with a badass for a dad. He'll stay away. But... But I'm like his troll, Pop. Call me an idiot, but a troll? Jim? What's a troll? Like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean jokes. Like what? Like someone posts something and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, so jokes that aren't funny. No, you don't get it. The humor comes with repetition. Like, you say it once, big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again, and again. Okay. Like the other day, he posts this picture of his newborn, and I'm all like, damn, son, that right there is one ugly ass motherfucker of a baby. And I'm all like, my balls is prettier than that baby. And then I send him a picture of my balls. I seen roadkill prettier than that baby. What the hell is wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, there's a problem with its chromosomes or something, and it's actually a miracle it survived birth. And I'm all like, it's actually a miracle I survived seeing a picture of its ugly? Enough! All right? E fucking enough! I get it. Maybe that one was a little OTT, but it's generally really good times. Yeah, good times, great times. The fucking fun you have. Shaking up, Dad. Could you drive like a sane person? This driving is making me wish I was still kidnapped. Can we go Watch already? Watch the fuck out, will ya? Cocksucker. All right, the troll could come out of his cage. Screw you. It's sticky back here and it smells funny. Yeah, well, maybe that'll teach you to wind people up on the internet. Now get out of here. 